Academy of Sports Excellence has rapidly become the pride of Qatar. Its breathtaking facilities are a match for the finest sporting institutions on the planet and the Academy are taking the concept of sports development to a whole new level. They have an opportunity to, to really explore their potential. Elite sport is, a lot of it's about maximising a young person's potential, their, their athletic potential. So it's a fantastic experience for them and, and I can see an improvement already in the boys. They're just getting more and more um, educated in football and playing better and better and becoming stronger and stronger. Uh, one thing that I like, their, their heart and their attitude. You know, we say to our boys all, all the time that you know, you've got an opportunity that you know, millions of boys around the world would want because you've got a realistic chance of playing in the World Cup. The sole purpose of the Academy's existence? To turn Qatar's young talents into sporting champions. The, the football program is the largest program within the Aspire Academy for Sports Excellence. The program actually spans 12 years. So we're starting children as young as five or six years of age and they'll get a, an expert, uh, expertly coached and led sporting experience where they increase their physical literacy and as they get more involved in the program they might be channeled to specific sports um, and so this creates a whole pathway and a continuum for the young people of Qatar. The selection process begins here. Aspire scouting teams visit schools and local sports centres around the country to discover talented youngsters before inviting them to the academy for closer inspection. But what are they looking for at this early stage? So what we're doing is we scout all the boys in Qatar, almost 10,000 boys a year in different age groups, uh, by going into schools, invite schools for festivals, we go to the clubs. So where you're selecting in is just, are they interested in football? Do they like the game? At this stage it's the most important and by playing a little by little we detect their main qualities. Um, if you look into scouting activities, it's easy to detect the best boy of the group, but uh, sometimes it's difficult to detect boys who can be in future good players. Aspire under no illusions. In order to transform the young talents of these men, they've handpicked the finest coaches from all over the world, all working hard to translate their knowledge of the beautiful game here in Qatar. We have this distillation of, of knowledge and expertise and experience. So, you know, whilst uh, the Spanish won the World Cup and we've got Spanish coaches on staff, we also have coaches from France, from Germany, from Brazil, Italy, Qatar, Iraq, England, Holland, um, so lots of different countries. These, these young coaches are, are very professional, they are career coaches, although fortunately many of them come from a, a teaching background which is quite important to us because that tells us that they understand and, and have been involved in educating young people. But they bring with them their, their knowledge of their respective countries' football methodology, the techniques that are applied and used in their respective countries, their, their philosophies. You know, the idea is, is that we, we can draw upon the experiences of these coaches from different countries and then we can put into place a, a program that's appropriate for Qatar and the results that we're achieving over time are really quite phenomenal. The system is reaping dividends, but talent can only take you so far. Hard work on the training pitch with the coaches has been key to realising such potential. Technically they can be very gifted players, physically they lack a lot, so we work a lot on the technique, so they're quick, uh, so they can manipulate the ball and uh, when we play against big physical teams we, we have to play to our strengths because we're never going to compete with the, the, the big physical types of teams. It makes a big difference in the fact that we're able to train them as much as we are, we get eight sessions a week with the boys as opposed to kind of two or three a week in Europe and that contact time makes all the difference in uh, producing and uh, developing players that are very good technically. We have lots of work to do, of course, because I can tell you in my area in Porto we have 130, 40 clubs here. We have uh, no more than 20 clubs, so uh, it's different and uh, the country is small. Uh, but the players, they have uh, one thing that I like, they have, they have heart and they have attitude. 
and uh, it's nice. However, there is only so much a player can learn from his coach and his peers. The programme invites some of the best teams in the world to come and train at the academy. During their visit, they get to showcase their talents against the Aspire teams, all the while giving these young athletes that competitive edge. The idea behind this is to, to give our players an opportunity to play against their peer group from the best football nations and the best football clubs in the world. Well, obviously, um, playing against you know, the big clubs, the Premier League clubs and some of the big clubs from Europe, it's, a, it's, a, it's an exciting experience for the Aspire boys and I'm sure they enjoy it and look forward to it. And again, for them, it's a great experience to learn um, and um, they learn how maybe the, some of these big clubs prepare for big games will be maybe different uh, and they haven't got the, the background, they haven't got the, the knowledge of football that most of the, the boys from Manchester have, have, have been you know, watching football since they were two or three and playing it since they were able to walk so uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic experience for them. Well, we got an invitation last year from the uh, Aspire Academy uh, and it's something we're trying to achieve back in Manchester we're looking to get our own uh, residencies for boys so it's an ideal opportunity to come and see how do you how do you do it here so that's that was the first reason we came and obviously then they invited a group so we had the opportunity to bring a group here as well a good experience for them obviously we think we've got a decent facilities at Manchester United but when you come here it's a it's a step up even further um, we've been really impressed with the whole setup and we feel that the Qatarians are on the way uh, in the right direction. The facilities are top quality. Um, we've been looked after extremely well. The food's just the right for the boys. It's just the right environment for the boys. Um, and the boys love the training. It's just getting used to the heat, which obviously we don't have back home. But it's a good experience for them and uh, they'll, they'll always remember that. The benefits of visiting the academy are endless for this Manchester United side. But how does the meeting of these two footballing worlds help strengthen the Aspire trainees. In 2002 when it opened uh, they played the best teams in Europe and they'd get heavily beaten but now we bring over the likes of Brazil, Barcelona and it can be very close matches uh, with the top teams, the uh, national teams and the top club teams so it's an amazing uh, the technical level that the boys have achieved. Every country they have uh, a way to play. English football they play fast and, and Asian they play an, another way so we get used done. We have experience. Yeah, yeah, it's very important to play against a different team because we learn a different style of play. We get experience and we also it's, they are a strong team. So we, we can enjoy, it's normal. Villarreal's under 15 year olds have travelled halfway across the world to play two games against the Qatari national team. And who knows, may even be a little bit surprised by the standard of their opponents. Here we are playing against the Qatar national team. Whereas in Spain, we only play against smaller clubs, and these players here are so much stronger. The Qatari culture is very interesting, and their football has improved a lot. Now, now they are competitive, they have an important philosophy, and they are able to compete on a European level easily. A match at the Al Sadd Stadium rounded off the English team's visit to Doha. The performance from both sides gave the coaches plenty to think about. Yeah, I think it was a very good game, good, uh, two teams we tried to play. Uh, I think in the first half we started good, we dominate, sometimes they dominate, it was uh, different tempos in the game, but I think uh, we performed well. But to have the experience of coming to Qatar, playing on a wonderful stadium like this, and all the boys uh, did very, very well, so we're very pleased with them. Of course, if we bring uh, here the, one of the best teams in the world as uh, Manchester United, we know we're going to play against uh, good players, uh, good level, and it, it makes us also to improve because everything goes fast. Uh, we need to be more concentrated, we need to be more uh, accurate, more in, in our technique, skills, everything. As well as visits from leading clubs in Europe, Aspire opens its gate to some of the world's biggest footballing figures. Jose Mourinho, Diego Maradona and Cafu are amongst many that have toured the facility, all of whom leave inspired by the Academy's dedication to the development of football. The infrastructure they, are, um, they have in their building is, is amazing. The passion is absolutely uh, fantastic. 
and they have the clear notion of um, how to be organized and I think this is, this is important. Maybe they don't have um, probably the talent or the working talent to respond uh, in an amazing way but I believe that with organization they can do something that not just for them, also for their uh, area, the Middle East area, they can do something that um, they can do for them. Also the people is doing that with, with a lot of uh, passion and, and, and pride. They are very proud of, of the academy and um, fantastic to be, to be fair was the first. Spectacular. Spectacular. It's the first academy like this I've seen. I've never been to something like this until now. I'll leave the academy with a different mindset. And if I was a student here, I'd leave feeling like I have the ability to confront the world. The global idea is, uh, is great because they care. They know that other things um, are also important. And uh, when, for example, they have uh, the private hospital, the clinic, uh, um, they have the studies, uh, days, they have other, um, other things around the proper sport, if you can, if you can call that. And um, I think they, they, they are thinking very well the, the, the whole process. And when they look to the, to the World Cup, for example, in trying to prepare a, a team for their country to be proud of, um, of course it's a small country, so in terms of numbers they don't have uh, a country with a huge population to choose in between them. But um, with the organization they are showing, I truly believe that, that they can do something that they can be proud of. Aspire not only open their gates to top class clubs, but to gifted individuals across the globe. The Scouts pride themselves in hot housing young Qataris, as well as the best of around 600,000 players in Africa and Asia. The programme known as Football Dreams seeks raw talent from far and wide who then become a vital part of this multicultural football in Haven. There's two aspects to the, the Football Dreams programme. Um, one is it gives a, an amazing opportunity from, for, the, for these boys from as many as 15 or 16 different countries around the world where the scouting is done to, to come to an environment which, in which we have arguably the, the best football and sporting facilities in the world to come here and, and to receive an education become part of our program to explore the full depth and breadth of their talent and then ultimately go back and play for their home countries. We've taken several scholarship boys and they've had a great effect on, um, on our program. You know they, they raise the levels in terms of training and performance every day and if you um, consider, you know, Qatar's in terms of population is a very small country and in every age group we haven't got lots of very good players, we only have a small number. So if these players are going to get better, they have to train and play with better players. So. Two Aspire Scholars were picked from their hometowns in Africa back in 2006. Abdul and Messi came over to a world completely unknown to their own and lucky for Qatar, have never looked back. Well, I came here in 2006 and they used to come to Senegal to do some tests so from there they saw me then they brought me here. So they choose around like uh, one or three thousand boys in our age so they make a string, a string so they choose three four players to come to over Qatar and then we do again trial to Qatar and then they choose me in Qatar. I knew from the beginning I was going to succeed so it was not a big deal. I'm passionate of football, I like football, so and also I'm studying, so I'm, I got to new experience, how to deal with new people, and uh, so everything is right now. I would like to be one day a professional footballer in Europe or somewhere else, but in a big club or in Qatar, in Chicago. Oh, my dream is to, to, play, to play football, to get a professional football, so we we'll see what will happen in the future. A world-class team of medical staff and sports scientists constantly monitor the young athlete's physical and mental development at each stage of their Aspire career. The analysis involves the use of some of the most advanced equipment in sports science, 
which enables their coaches to examine their physical progress both on and off the pitch. For most of these boys, we have data since they are 12 years old, because they were with us in Aspire, now they are in, with the national teams and they still keep doing the same testing. So we have the ability to track over the time uh, where they were and where they are now and where we think they need to improve in the future. Assessing all physiological parameters for the boys to so assess their training load and to optimize their performance for the future. And here we had test jump test, sprinting test, and the L test for the agility and the VAMI valve for the endurance test. All this will help us to, to, to monitor their progress and to have like an idea about what they've done this year and what was their progress for this year. And we use, usually use this data for prescribing training, training prescription. And that's what helps strength conditioning coaches and the coaches to optimize and individualize each training for each subject. Because each player is not the same and depending, it's, it's position dependent also. So each player has to have his own load, training load. So this data, they help coaches to have the, the right training load for each player. So in the test. We did three tests, a jumping test, endurance test and a sprinting test. There have been many improvements since we started doing these tests and you can actually feel it. There are a great deal of challenges in the individual and group stages and usually when we get beaten it's by someone famous who has come from abroad. Football is a very complex game. We cannot see the improvement by only if they won or they lost. Uh, you have to depend on the on the opponent. Uh, where are we playing? Who is playing? Uh, and uh, on the position. So, the coach when they win, they're happy. But we don't know if the, uh, the player really progressed. Uh, the important of this test and what we do with the players is to to let them to have the maximal endurance capacity, so they can hold, like maintain uh, their high performance during 90 minutes on the field. These rising stars are enrolled at the academy from the age of 12 and enjoy the benefits of coaching and cutting edge in sports science as well as a high school education. Their teachers and coaches have created a fine-tuned programme, all contributing to a promising future. The selection of our students is based on their athletic ability, but at the very beginning we have to test them to see what they really need from us on an academic level. If they have difficulties, we set up a program for them to support their studies. And during their time here, we see their educational levels vastly improve. Education is very important here in Aspire because uh, they don't want you to use both together. Maybe you can get injured one day, who knows, so they want you, whenever you get uh, an opportunity to study and play football, it's the best way to do it. So You plan to have a plan B, that is your education, so it's very important for us to, to achieve everything in the future. All the teachers, they are... Uh, they are qualified teachers and they are excellent, so all of them are professional, so they, they need to be very careful about our studying. They teach us good and they are motivating us. Aspire today, inspire tomorrow. That's our motto. And the goal is when the student graduates from this school, he won't only be excellent in sport, he'll be excellent in his studies. يكون عنده القدرة على أنه يتحمل 
We are trying to create leaders who are responsible and strong enough in the future to overcome whatever obstacles they face, wherever they are. Uh, they teach you how to behave, how to be on your own when, when you travel or when you are alone. So it's not bad, they teach you great things. Studying, socialising and travelling the world together, these boys have become more than just teammates. The Aspire experience has allowed young men from all over the world to rely on one another and form unbreakable bonds. Something at first they may never have thought possible. In the beginning I was so shy because I come from too far away so the people is not, it's too different than me. I speak Spanish, they speak Arabic or English. So in the first Two or three, no, one or two months was very difficult for me to adapt to this place. When I came, there was just one boy from Ghana, John Benson, and he could just speak English. And I couldn't speak English nor Arabic, so it was a very hard moment for me. If you come here, that means that you are alone. You have to be responsible of your things. You, you don't depend on your parents, of your family. Of your family. So you have to, yes, that, that's make you become a man, make you bigger. So you have, you have more responsibility of you too. We are a team, so everyone is happy. For example, if I do, do the things good, I will be happy because it's, for, it's not only for Abdi, it's for me also. We are a team, we are together. So we have to work for everybody, not only I will work for myself, we have to work for all of us. Since each student at the academy is given equal chance to shine in the game, the boys are able to share all team responsibilities and although each have their competitive edge, always support one another's talents and ambitions. I would like to meet him one day in the championship final or to play in a World Cup. We meet together, me, Messi and all my friends here. Shara, it will be a good dream for me. As well as the Aspire Scholars' dreams for the future, the nation's vision for sporting excellence suddenly became clearer when the unthinkable occurred. excitement for the whole country when you know it was announced that Qatar won um, and in terms of Aspire the you know the boys I'm sure they're good enough at maths to work out that come 2022 they could be in the the right age range in which to, to play in the World Cup. The, the Aspire athletes of today the athletes who are working within the Aspire, Aspire Academy for Sports Excellence are the boys that will make up the team in 2022 winning the World Cup for 2022, it has, has further put a, a focus and helped galvanise the efforts of everybody involved within the Aspire Zone Foundation in terms of making that effort and contributing to helping these boys in the country realise their dreams. It's a question of trying to get them really focused and really uh, in the best shape you know, that they can get to, to give them the best chance to to only uh, play in a World Cup but perform to a good standard. We believe that there may even be a, a great possibility to qualify in 2018 and that'll be an important part of the whole preparation campaign for 2022 because if we can qualify the team on merit in 2018, those young men, those coaches, those support personnel involved in that campaign will then take it to the next level of really having a great performance in 2022. And the motto reads, aspire today, inspire tomorrow. And for these young athletes, tomorrow cannot come soon enough. They look to put Qatar on the map and show everyone what the country is made of. <laughs>